Paldea Evolved is coming out real soon, and I thought I'd take a minute to open up some of these unopened boxes that I've just been sitting around the office. So today we got some Crown Zenith, we gotta knock out some Cyclozar, and then maybe we, uh, we wrap up with some Scarlet and Violet. We're taking it down here to the hand camera, our Morpeko V Union box. Let's get these packs out of here with a one, two, three, and we've got our packs ready to go. Jumping into it. How you guys been? You doing okay? Got a code card for you. First one. Boom. Sword and shield there. Four from the back. A little bit used to the uh, Scarlet and Violet packs. But been a minute since I've done a card opening video, so I owe you guys some content and wanted to make sure we... Hey, we got a Turtwig. Wanted to make sure we got that and an Executor. All right. Want to make sure check in with you guys. Uh, life's been a little bit crazy. I've had... We had some pipes burst in the backyard, so that was taking up some time. Had to, had to learn how to be an adult, how to do manly things, working in the dirt, and cap off some pipes. It was an interesting time. The whole backyard was flooding. It was shooting up, hitting the roof. It was, hey, we got a Zamazenta V. That is very nice. Let's, uh, Hoopa, okay. Very nice. I wasn't even expecting this. <laughs> I should have been expecting something. Uh, Crown Zenith is a great set. That, there we go. We're checking stuff off the list. So I've wrapped up work. I go out into the backyard and let the dogs out. And yeah, this whole geyser's happening. It was, it was a mess. Two and a half hours later, turns out the, the main valve's in somebody else's yard. So that was, that was a journey. But, uh, had to take care of all that, fix all of those things, and then uh, all right, Taros. Then we had to uh, just a lot of life events happening with work travel to take care of uh, work. So we got a little bit behind, but that's okay. I was trying to keep up on some videos, so at least we uh, keep in touch with like various things going on in the Pokemon world, especially those Pokemon collections. I do love them. Make sure hey, we got a Mareep and a Zacian V. Very nice. So if you do have collections, one, go check out that video. But send, do I feel free to send in your your own collections. I know you guys got them. Pretty them up. I think we should take pride in our collections, you know? Sometimes it takes a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, a little investment. But I just love to see it. Like, I love, like, uh, seeing the, like, people's gaming setups and, like, their, like, PC setups. Quick pause, because we gotta get into Cyclozar. And we're getting into two boxes. We gotta see how just how good these Cyclozar boxes are. Also, feel really self-conscious. There's like a hole in my desk. I gotta fix it. I gotta replace the desk. I was trying to change the way that uh, the microphone is all set up on the opening table, and it decided to go for a little bit of a dive <laughs> and uh, put a hole in the desk. So we gotta get that fixed. Gotta figure out uh, maybe a new look there. I think it's about time. Varum, Sprigatito, go right on. All right, fire energy. Maybe not quite so fire on that one, but love seeing the collections. I know you guys have some really cool items out there. The way that you're thinking about how you're how you're displaying things. There's a code card. So love that. Honestly, I'm probably going to be making some more changes in the room. I know, like, I was super stoked changing up the room to be what it is right now, giving you guys uh, different views and, and whatnot, but it just turns out it's not very functional. It like literally like is this camera view and then uh, on my other desk, it works out for like work and whatnot and editing, but we're, we think we're gonna change it up again. It's kind of a pain to get around in the room because of that, but so I know I'd promised in the past doing a uh, walkthrough of the room We'll get to it. We're, I'm very indecisive, apparently. Code card. And finishing up this Cyclozar box with a Lost Origin. We uh, didn't get much out of this one. Code card, though. Getting those, at least. Boom. All right. Kicking it off. Wind-up arm. Hariyama. Haunter. Poliwag. Oddish. I'm really hoping. Look a tongue. <laughs> Slugma. Gumi. And a Magnazone V. I'll take it. You know, that's something at least. I'm gonna do a code card because of the hit. So life has been busy. 
really trying to keep up on on everything and uh, also take care of my health. We had been trying to solve some some health issues. Uh, things are. I mean, I still got health issues, but things are in the clear. So, like, I'm feeling a little less stressed about that, like, having to do with my heart. And so, we, we got we got some sign-off that, like, things are probably going to be fine. It's just, eventually, I will probably need some surgery. But, that's life, you know? So, I've been handling that stress. Also trying to make sure to do decently at the full-time job. So, balancing a lot, and we're also then dealing with a uh, not dealing with but like planning a lot of travel for the summer and code card and then also still planning the wedding that's coming up so ah oh man these packs sometimes they want to fight coming in with a manky though charcadet caps a kid potion so we're busy we're trying to make it happen and still keep up to date with all of the pokemon stuff toxicroak ex love the shine the, or the little sparkles so good. I love how they pop up. And leaf energy with a code card. So make sure, hit that like button if you'd rather be doing Pokemon stuff and not adulting all the time. Because <laughs> adulting can be fun, but also I'd rather just be chilling with some Pokemon and hang out with you guys. But uh, here we go. Duosion, V-Guard. So far, the Cyclozar box. These uh, sometimes not the best. Hey, there we go. We got a Malamar. Is that holographic? No, it's just mostly like print. I like that. It looks pretty good. And uh, Caldeo. That was it. Perfect. Which brings us to our Pokemon of the day. Today we're going to be talking about the rainbow Pokemon, Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh comes in at 12 feet 6 inches, weighing a whopping 438 pounds. Ho-Oh is considered the guardian of the skies and has a mythical power to resurrect the dead. It is said that when it flies, its huge wings create bright, colorful rainbows. The rare few who bear witness to Ho-Oh are promised eternal happiness. Ho-Oh used to perch at the top of the various towers located across the Johto region, such as the Bell Tower and the Brass Tower, but since those towers were destroyed, it now presumably flies through the world's skies in search of a trainer with a pure heart. The Ho-Oh, a fantastic Pokemon and also obviously has a major impact in the Pokemon anime, so if you're a Ho-Oh fan, let me know down in the comments. And now we're gonna crack open these two boxes and get into these packs. So the Scarlet and Violet base set coming to a close here. Paldea Evolved coming in. Supposedly, Pokemon Company says that the second set of a generation does not do very well. So we'll see how Pal Paldea Evolved uh, turns out. I think that having the uh, Miriam cards in there definitely going to help out with the longevity of the set. But also, I think Scarlet and Violet was a fantastic set. Obviously, we got to get the Miriam in there. And excuse me, the Iono in uh, Paldea Evolved. So, I think uh, I think regardless, there's still going to be some chase cards. There's still some, some fantastic art to get after on, like, even the commons, the uncommons. There's still just cool things in the Pokemon cards. It doesn't always have to be about, like, these giant big hits. Although I am, I am trying to get the Miriam in this set. That's my that's my big chase card right here. But I do owe you guys a binder review, so maybe uh, after this we'll get some cards into some sleeves and uh, do that binder recap. Watchroll, Drowsy. Hey, we got Mir uh, Maridon EX. I was hoping for the Miriam. Almost said it. And uh, Water Energy. Boom. Overall, though. I am pretty pleased with where uh, we're like quote unquote ending the base set. Pretty pleased with, with what cards I have. Maybe just like a couple gold cards, obviously the Miriam. But overall, for how many packs that we've opened on the channel, for what we, uh, Spide Ops EX, all right. Uh, I think we've done pretty well. So we've gotten the Crydon, the Maridon, some of the gold cards. So we're pretty, pretty pleased. Zangoose, Krogunk, Rotom, Mankey, Kilowattrel, Greedent, Crocodile, Cyclozar, Magnemite, is there something? No, it's just the, it's the borders tricking me. There you go. So let me know, are you gonna be missing Scarlet and Violet? Are you glad to see it go? You still missing something? Let me know. Growlithe, Staravia, Oinkalone, 
Spiritomb, Ultra Ball, Foratris, Meowskarada, and King Gambit. Those, man, those borders are getting me now. Here we go, code card. All right, so stay tuned. We still have plenty of changes to come on the channel. More videos, more content. Should be uh, getting together another Pokemon collection video here soon. Been, been fun just browsing around on, on Reddit, seeing what you guys are doing. Arvin, a full art trainer. Great hit there. And that was actually the first big hit we ever got with Scarlet and Violet. So, we've got more card openings coming. I got all my pre orders in for Paldea Evolved. Gotta make sure to chase after all those. Get the new set. Hopefully, it pans out a little bit better than some of the, uh, like the sets back in like Sword and Shield, like Rumble Clash. But, uh, we won't talk about that, I guess. But it is doing better than Darkness Ablaze in terms of price point. Thought that was kind of interesting. That, like, Celebrations and Darkness Ablaze in the Sword and Shield era, those were the. Those are currently, like, the most affordable sets if you want to go buy. Woo. If you want to go buy all of the cards just as singles. Those would be the, the two most affordable ones, so that's pretty cool. And uh, Bayonet EX. Alright, we've definitely got our share of EX cards. So we've got our last pack here. Let me right on. Taking us into the future. Here we go. Sandile. Make sure like, subscribe if you had a good time. Chillin'. Heracross. Flamigo. Fortress. Aloma Mola. Starly. Indeedy. Closing it out. And a code card for you. So, let's get these cards into some sleeves and do a binder recap. Alright, we've got our Scarlet and Violet binder here. Boom. Voltex coming in with their custom colored Voltex binder. First edition. Very nice. So I do stack all of my cards with the Reverse Hollow on top of the regular. I know a lot of people are probably not going to like that, but that's how I do it. Uh, so I'll stack the regular to the Reverse Hollow to the Holographic. So I'm still missing quite a few Reverse Holographic cards in here. I'll try to give you guys like a decent view. I think I need to get like the top-down camera in here. But uh, I think so far we've done pretty dang well if you ask me, and uh, we filled out quite a bit with hollows, reverse hollows, and we're doing, like, the beginning of the set I think is the easiest part to fill out, and then, as you'll see, as we get into, like, the, the bigger hits, the glare is real on these things, uh, but as we get into the bigger hits, stuff starts to thin out a little bit, and that's, uh, you know, that's okay. Uh, it's usually kind of how things go. I think I've only, I've, I'm not even sure exactly how many packs I've opened, but I've opened them all with you, so if you've been keeping track, someone out there, on uh, how many packs I've opened. You know, I've done some live streams, I've done some uh, just regular videos doing this, and this is pretty much where, where, we've, uh, where we've put it. Struggle in there. Uh, so, tons and tons of cards in here. Sorting them has been fun, because I love going back and looking at some of the art. Even if it's not like a big hit, I just love looking at the, the art that they put into some of these things. Because I feel like also doing this, going building the binder and everything. Like the EX cards, so far, at least from a collector standpoint, have been a little lackluster, in my opinion. So I'm, I'm uh, excited interested to see how things kind of turn out for EX cards in the coming sets because I mean so far I mean it was they're coming in a little cool with uh, with the Pokemon choices so interested to see how it all turns out now we're getting into well let's wrap up these trainer cards and then let's get into these like gallery cards because I do love the slowpoke such a good card toad school also Really cool. I love the colors on that one. I only got one of the Ralts line. That's okay. Because I do love these two cards. Grievard and Riolu. Like, they did such a good job with that. The art on both of those. We've also got our 
Mobostiff, Bombardier, that's in there at the end of the light, uh, or Starly, Squovit. We got both the Arcanine and the Gyarados, so I'm very lucky, thankful that I got those. Get into some of these other cool cards. We got our, our Great Tusk. Up here, we also got our Magnazone, Maridon, Gardevoir. We did, we were able to score all of the Arvins, or uh, Professor Sada there. And stoked that we were able to get the Maridon and Karidon there in the alternate arts, because those are super rad and they're not like the promos in the uh, ETBs. So that's fun. Arvin, and then we got some gold cards here. So overall, we've done pretty well then it just goes blank but thank you guys so much for checking out this looking at my collection hanging out for some cards you know what just in case there's a code card for you if you were lingering around for that one and if you want to linger around and check out more videos i've got a bunch on the channel here make sure to subscribe because we're doing content all the time take care of each other out there and i'll see you very soon on the next one